This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. That was weird. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Demolition Girl and you're welcome because I played this game so you don't have to. Alright, here's the plot. Pretty girl out on the beach taking pictures stung by an alien crab thing turns you into a giant huge woman that's crushing cities in a bathing suit like Godzilla in a bikini. Or the girl from Monsters vs. Aliens. The difference here is that this isn't good at all. In fact, it's one of the worst games I've ever played. Demolition Girl was made for you to watch in a five minute video review because trust me, you don't want to play it. Watch me endure the horror. Okay, so the game is silly. It's meant to be ridiculous. Your first mission in involves you flying a helicopter around said giant woman collecting her, her, uh, her, her measurements. And I'm currently um, engaged in buttocks data acquisition. <laughs> Alright, now that I know what kind of giant dress to get her, we're all set. The, the biggest problem with Demolition Girl that's probably not apparent from watching it on screen is that it plays terribly. This has the worst controls imaginable. They, they just don't even make sense. Flying the helicopter is nearly impossible. And everything else is just as bad. How did they mess up a game where you launch giant pieces of cake at enormous alien women? Like, how do you screw that up? After you shoot her in the giant ass with enough tranquilizer darts, she eventually falls over and is picked up by helicopters and transported somewhere else. But on her voyage, she's attacked by alien squids, of course. And your job is to blow them up now using a jet fighter, which you think would be easier to control than the helicopter, right? No, not so much. Terrible controls. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Some of the worst. In fact, I think they are the worst I've ever seen. I was kind of hoping this game would be so bad that it's good, but it's actually so bad that it's worth avoiding. Now, now if you think it can't get any worse, it, it does. Let's, let's take a look at the tank mission. Where the giant woman attacking the city poses very little threat, it's oncoming traffic that can destroy your, your tank. So the way that you get through the mission is by destroying the exact same people that you're trying to save by blowing up their cars so they don't run into you. Just let her rampage. I mean, she's cool. Whatever. She's out the party. I don't know what else to say. It's a good chuckle, but Demolition Girl feels like a game they started to make and then quit halfway through when they realized it wasn't any good or, or they weren't going to sell any. Good packaging art. But it's definitely one to avoid. However, I do have to thank Christoph from Arnstadt, Germany for sending this to the show. Packed in a box filled with amazing games like Global Defense Force, Monster Attack, and Robot Warlords. I guess I'm a sucker for the game that has a picture of a giant girl and jet fighters on the front of it though, so I played this one first. This is the first PlayStation 2 game being Reviewed on Classic Game Room using our new PAL PlayStation 2 sent to the show by Robert in Middlesbrough, United Kingdom. I'll do a full review of it soon and get you up there on the map, Robert. But now I can play PAL games. Ho ho ho, like Global Defense Force. Watch for that review soon. And just avoid Demolition Girl. You don't want her sitting on you. <laughs> 